Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Jagged Alliance 3. So, uh, we've taken the docks. Uh, that's really good. K9 itself is going to be stormed or, uh, in about four days time. So we've got a bit of time uh, to secure the whole area nearby. Uh, we're going to bring the team uh, down to the south, uh, take L9 and push, uh, push across. Before we do that, I am tempted to push into J9 just to take it and, and search this uh, little little coastal area. So we'll do that very quickly. You got it. Because there might there might be something interesting How can I here. Assist? Let's go. I do want to be careful about landmines, though, as no is problem. always the case whenever you're dealing with sandy areas. Locked. Okay, well, if it's locked, Vicky can just pick it. What have we got? A Winchester. All right, well, we'll scrap that. It's uh, good for parts. I be listening. Let's go. I will check the coast of. Ooh. Here, On my way. I mean, we could kill Crocs. It's uh, it's no biggie Bloody if we yeah. do. You got it. I'll see them before they see me. They won't. <laughs> yeah, let's let's try a takedown on a Croc. I mean, how how badly could it go, right? Sneaking up on this guy's words. This is gonna be so bad, but I am curious for science. Oh my word. Kalina here. That surprisingly worked. Uh, well, let's get the brutalize on it. And we're going to need someone to come in and help. I could do this blindfolded and tied up. Yes. But it's not it's not a bad yes. start, I will say that. Ready. Yeah, reckless. If you could just come in and Aiming. also do a shot in the face. Kalina here. Kalina. This should do it. There should be more than enough. There we go. Totally fine. We cleared the enemies out, Ready got some loyalty, life. and Blood got to kill a crocodile with a single stab. Nice Honestly, not what I was expecting. What is up, man? Pretty damn happy about They're it. On our way. We move with certainty. And should we need it, Let's there's even walk. some some more meds around. Now that looks like something we could use. I am so happy that Blood didn't get eaten. I, I would have been sad, like legitimately sad. Yes. Yeah, this um, this whole area of the riverbank, kind of interesting. Mostly interesting because of the crocs. Let's uh, let's head south, and we will. Uh, We're moving. Check out the repair shop. Uh, what have we got going on? Oh, yeah, Larry's going to finish treating I'm done. me. Done. Be right back. I need to powder my nose. So you guys, you're still training and stuff in the area, and we've kind of got you blocking most passageways through. Where's these guys going? They're going to come round and through, but they they're going to go via that point. You may as well just carry on training while you're here and doing your repairs because they're all going to come to you, is what I'm thinking. Okay, so Alpha Squad. You are getting a little bit tired, but it's not too bad yet. So into the dump. What is this place? I mean, obviously it's a scrap heap. But... You want to take my place to control the junk? No, my art is pure. But you, you old scarecrow, you sold us all to La Légion. I am La Baron. I decide who to side with. 
and your job is to follow. Yet, know this. Political alliances are temporary, but the junk is forever. The Ajani could be in Eden if its rulers would look up from grabbing for junk. You care more about it than about our people. You will obey me and bend the knee, or I will have to put you down. Never! Your rule ends here. Okay, so there is clearly some infighting. Bit of a civil war. Something to help us on our quest, perhaps? So. In theory, the Baroness is wearing a wig that would be suitable for us. Something worth checking out here. Oh my god, we can bet on him. Right. Let's have a chat with the jungle person. Is it person. true the old Chimorenga retired and made you leaders of the Maki? Hey, what do you call that? Hereditary communism. Something like that. Uh, let's let's bet on player one. So, the question is, was there actually anything that happened from that? Also, whereabouts is it? All right, it's actually over here. I'm not convinced that there's actually anything happening. Oh, everyone is so dirty. We all need a wash. Well, apparently we've got some uh, a bag of uh, francs by uh, by betting. So I'm guessing this bit's just not really been rounded out. We move with certainty. Right, well, we have we have loot and stuff that we can do. So let's take a look. Ooh, Molotovs. Put them with the others. Now we have some mechanical salvage as well that we can pick up. Hope there be some good stuff in there. Eh, always take some extra bullets. No sweat. I have found a thing. What's this? There is something of import down there. Oh, and another combat stim should we need it. So, up in this we're on it. top high area, it looks like we're relatively protected from uh, from everything that's been going Let's on. Take a look. Uh, yeah, definitely. Hello. Disarm this stash with Barry. Device disarmed with precision. Kevlar armor. We'll just scrap it up. Barry Unger. We're moving. There might be plenty of things to actually loot on the way down. On my way. So I kind of want to check all directions. Could be that. Follow me. Now we can go up on that roof, but we have to go down first. Interesting. Moving. Now, I thought there was potentially some more stuff to loot on the way down, but it can be finicky to we find destroyed. if it's not highlighted. Yeah, uh, that looks like it's an exit path. No problem. But we can go across the edge. Let's go! What are the chances I'll find a decent bottle of conditioner? Flare gun. We don't need flare guns. I will take the cartridges because they're just ammo. With certainty. We're moving. We have agreement. We move with certainty. At least there's no landmines in this area. Let's move. Heading out. Okay, and that looks like the exit on the other side. 
Yes. You got it. What does this say? Someone really meant to <laughs> keep the dump clean by throwing out the legion. No legion. We will do. <coughs> Let's go. It's a it's a little funny given how uh, prevalent there they are. are. We can use this. Of course. What have we seen? Where there's the salvageable parts. As you wish. Oh, I did not see these guys before. Someone meant to make a point? Yeah, indeed they did. You got it. Okay, well, let's take a walk. We want to go and uh, check that out. No sweat. Oh my god, there's nobles and knights and Coming everything back. down in, in this junkyard. This is going to be interesting. Let's get moving. I suspect we're not going to be just allowed to wander in and grab that. Let's go for a walk. Ooh, what's that? I will, however, steal everything I can from the base of this place. Are there any sweets for good little girls? Um, not sweets, but wire cutters. Well, you've already got good wire cutters, so... We'll just scrap it up and take the extra parts. And in fact, while I think about it, we were going to do some... Modifications on this. See if we could... <coughs> get ourselves a, uh... Suppressor. And potentially other things. There we go. Successful modification. Uh, may as well do the flashlight as well. Go for the extended barrel. Expand the mag. And we'll go for the heavy stock. Nicely modified. This looks like a fancy, fancy thing. There's nothing that we can do to modify the uh, the other one. Uh, let's have a look. What can we do on here? We could give you a flashlight. May as well. I don't think there was anything else that we wanted to modify on this. Like it's got, it's already got the heavy stock. The light stock's no good. It's got the expander mag. It's got the sniper scope. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, blood. There's no point in modifying that further. These are already looking good. We could modify your other Uzi. Potentially. We'll certainly consider it. That's all maxed out. This isn't maxed out. Let's uh, give it a little extra. So it's already got the heavy stock. It's got thermal scope, which we love. Let's give it the expanded mag. And we'll give it a bipod. And the pistol's fine. So. Do we want to mod any of the other weapons that we have? Most of the other weapons that we have we're never going to change to, if I'm honest. So, Vicky's Uzi is possibly the only, uh, only interesting one. So, extended game twist. We'll give it the suppressor. We'll give it a side mod. And five times sniper scope go on. So this is now maxed out. And we're going to load it up with armor piercing.
Sure. It'll just be loaded with armor piercing, just not fully. Now it says 15 damage. I'm assuming that's because Vicky's using it. Let's try using them for for a little bit. We can always change back to the stick grenades should we need them. I think that's uh, that's going to be fine. It's freed up a little bit of space in terms of the items that we're using. I'll be listening. Copy that. So ignoring most of what's I have spotted a thing going on. That wants an investigate. Let's um. Yes. Barry. Get some parts from this. What is this watering can? The golden flower has withered because of the Baron's corruption. The knights are making the flowers sad. Uh, someone's watered the flower with sun cola, but a bucket of clean water brings it back to life. Yeah, so this is like an idiocracy thing. Behold, the golden flower is blooming once again. Yeah. The hands of the President's Harold. Are the hands of a gardener. Yeah, because we decided that we weren't just going to give it electrolytes. And <laughs> we were going to give it proper water. Oh, okay, so we've accidentally convinced one person to drop the conflict. I wasn't expecting that. Yes. We're going to need to go around and talk to people, see what's, uh, what's up with it. But still looting first. And I think it's only right that we go and talk Moving. to the uh, uh, the Baroness first of all. Let's go. I think we've with something. We've checked most things the down the base. On my way. Ooh, another grenade. Hello. We should gather the valuables. Indeed, we should because there is definitely more to We're get in it. here. Let's spin the camera around. Intel for the docks, not really necessary because we've already done the docks. Uh, we don't have anywhere to store this, so we'll just cash it. Cash it in. And we'll grab a little bit more money. Okay, I think once we're done with these last little bits in here. We'll talk to the Baroness and see what she has to say. Are you a mercenary who is seeking to restore the rightful ruler of Gonchien? Help me crush this rebellion. And I will make you knights of the dump. And grant you the same boon I would have granted La Lesion. Hmm. Not convinced. Let's go. Let's go have a chat with Henri. Are you the cell swords who oppose La Lesion? I am asking you to help us overthrow this evil tyrant here, and my knights of the dumb will pledge allegiance to you. Now that sounds sounds more like my kind of thing. All right, let's go around and talk to the knights. I wonder what Monsieur Itzadi would say about this conflict. If we pacify, does that mean they give it up? I wonder what Monsieur Itzadi would say about this conflict. Ah. Uh... Okay, if you say so. I I think we try and pacify the nobles, not the knights. In order to love thy neighbor, you should not try to kill them. Maybe we should not anger the knights. After all, every stick has two ends. I don't speak to commoners. Ah, huh? what? I don't speak to commoners. Jeez. What an absolute knob. 
Maybe we should hear what Monsieur Isade of the Junking Guild has to say about all this. The Junking Guild. Okay, so there is there is more people that we haven't seen yet then. Heading out. But suffice to say, I think no problem. the nobles are really the uh the, junkies in everything the ones we want to get giving it up. I don't speak to commoners. So we've got the villagers watching on the top. Camera's a little bit all over the place on this one, if I'm honest. Because of the verticality, no doubt. We're on it. You got it. Well, without knowing where the Junking Guild is... I think we're just going to have to make do with what we can. Maybe we should hear what Monsieur Isade of the Junkin Guild has to say. I don't speak to I don't speak to commoners. All right. Uh, let's side with the knights. Go forth, knights. The tyrants shall fall. Now. Standing where we are, we might be in a bit of trouble, but we might also be in a brilliant place for just getting some murder on. Kalina here. Okay. How can I assist? Let's zoom in a little and see what we've got. Blood here. So blood. We can actually get really close. And I quite like that. Ah, One knife at that guy. Oh, One knife at this guy. About to make mince meat here. Awesome. More knives on this guy. In the neck or mm, in the neck. The Lord smiles Good upon you, brother. Job, blood. Make yourself small. You have done well. Okay. What's on your mind? Fox. This won't hurt a bit. You can see well, the person at the back. Me anyway. Seems simple enough. Very Ungern. Vicky. Right. We can run and gun with Vicky. Trying out our new Wonderful Uzis. Of course the battle is going good. We are true heroes that will vanquish all evildoers. And then we've got insufficient AP to actually take a shot. Nice and easy. Oh, maybe against this one. Nice try. Kalina here. My gun is not a magic wand, you know. Kalina, you're going to end up shooting someone, so we need to reposition you. If we pull you over here, you might be able to get a shot. This right to the chap at the back. Oh. Sounds like you hit him. Still alive, but, you know, not in a good way. Yes. I think we do Reckless the same. Ready to shoot. Kill confirmed. Nice. So maybe Barry can just finish off this, uh... Hello. Good position to shoot. Last person. I say last person because obviously there's still the Baroness, but 
it now it's just the Baroness. And going off to Kalina. Oh no, going off to the knight. I think we're going to be sending blood in to do this. Or maybe it won't be necessary. Wow. With your aid, a new ruler shall take the throne of Chateau d'Ordieu. I will take the title of Duke of the Dub. Here I am. Here I remain. Well, I guess, uh... As for you, said Swords, my knights will always be your comrades, and you will always have a place at my table. It is good thing to know. When you have feast, I will bring extra sanitizer. <laughs> How can I assist? Okay, well, we're gonna try and loot this, um... We're on it. This body, I think. And there is the red curly wig that we needed. So, we can head back and try and convince um, Headshot Hugh to give up that shotgun. Uh, let's have a chat with Dirty Henry after. Welcome to the junkyard. We've got fun and games. Tabletop or LARP? I prefer LARP, but they did not let me bring my costume to Grand Chien. Oh, Kalina is the best. <laughs> Welcome to the junkyard, honored squires of the street sweeping. Okay, well, I guess the junkyard has a new ruler. It's not us, which is a bit of a shame, because I was hoping it would be. But still, we've managed to get a wig, which is, I guess, as important as anything. Uh, let's, as I said, head back to the docks. Of course, I'd be here. Now what? And we'll go have a chat. With Headshot Hugh. So, camera seems to be back to normal. Headshot Hugh is going to be over in the bar. Oh yeah, that's all the uh, all the potential With purchases that we could do. Hmm? What's on your mind? Moving. I can only see this going badly. Do I look like a fucking kindergarten? Sup, gangsters? I've been thinking about changing my persona. Gonna start introducing myself as the Russian roulette world champion. <laughs> that's, that's actually a pretty good thing for a guy with a hole in his head. Uh, we've got the wig. That's all we need. Now I just need to dress up like Lurch's mom. Wait for me here. It's so time. All right. Uh, Gregory, what have I told you about playing with guns? Uh, and what do I see here? A gun. My gun. <laughs> I am very disappointed in you. Give it to me at once. Hey, Mom. And never play with guns again. Hey, Mom. I guess it's gone all right. Although, why is he coming back in with the gun? That just seems like a silly move. Well, uh, we gained five loyalty and some experience, so... Let's have a chat. See? I told you I was the brains of this operation. Now I got me this slamming shotgun for sale. Woo! I am now questioning the better angels of your nature, Mr. Hugh. Come on, fellas. You wouldn't even have this opportunity without me. All I'm asking is a little, uh, consideration. All right. 
sure. Money's no object. We'll we'll buy it. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. Like everybody wins, right? Like I think you'll like that piece. Just be careful with the headshots. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? <laughs> I am curious as to what it's like. Watch your head. Okay. It's too big for us to carry right this moment, so it's being dropped on the ground. That's uh, on my way. Unhelpful. There it is. Ooh, no. An enchanted item. Rapid invalidation. It's got 14 arrow it could hold. You know what? Um, let's lose the dragon of. And we'll take this with us just in case. We can scrap that uh, dragon of up anyway. I don't think we can do any further modifications on it. But yeah, massively high capacity. And it's burst fire. Well, at the very least, we can load it up with something. So, Sabo, Breacher, Buckshot, or Salt Shot. Sabo inflicts bleeding. Breacher inflicts suppressed. I'd say Breacher. Although, Sabo does have a longer range. Yeah, we'll go for Sabo. Three, three shots at 22 damage in a cone. Uh, it's not necessarily going to be a bad bad choice. Hey, and Blood's reached level 7. Okay, well, let's... Uh, let's go give him some upgrades. Right, so Blood doesn't quite have the... Uh, the perks in order to push further yet. So we've got to do at least one other level. So where are we going to get the best benefit? A 30% extra crit chance with melee weapons and firearms in point blank. That seems like a really good choice. Gain free move after making a melee attack. Oh, that's got the potential to... Run, stab, run, stab, run, stab. I think we'll we'll go for shock assault because then we can do true strike or line breaker. If we get our strength up high enough. Four more strength. It's not impossible to to see happening. You know what? We're going to do hit and run. We're going to do hit and run. Uh, and that's going to allow us to... Start pushing down the agility line. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. There, there's a, there's so many options, so many combinations that could work really well. Um, right, so that's not even taken a day. Uh, we're going to bring the team down to the next part of the port. Let's get moving. Um, but we're going to want to rest actually before we uh, before we get there, just because we're starting to get tired. If we wait 
we're not going to have uh, any problems with our action points uh, going in and fighting the Legion. Uh, but that's going to have to be next time. Uh, so thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Jack Alliance 3. See you soon.